Hello traders everywhere, Jeremy Lutz coming from the Digital Studios of Market Club. And the indexes are hitting record highs as we run into the close on Friday, ending at record high levels for the week. With a chart analysis score plus 100, the S&P 500 is currently up 6 tenths of a percent on the week trading at 3,113.66 with an all-time high of 3,000. 114.26 earlier in trading today. Key level to watch next week will be 3,023.19. A move below that level would issue a red weekly trade triangle indicating a move to a sidelines position for the S&P 500. However, dollar index is currently losing about four tenths of a percent on the week trading just below $98 at 97.99 with a chart analysis score negative 50 indicating that we're still in a sidelines position with a red weekly trade triangle in play. Key level to watch will be 98.39. A move above that level would give us a green weekly trade triangle indicating a move back to a long position for the U.S. dollar. Dow Jones currently trading at 27,925.32 with a chart analysis score plus 100 indicating that we are in a long-term uptrend for the Dow. Currently trading uh, about eight tenths of a percent of a gain this week. Uh, key level to watch should be 26,918.29. A move below that level would issue a red weekly trade triangle indicating a move back to a sidelines position for the Dow. Not to be outdone, the NASDAQ is leading the way right now, about up 7 tenths of a percent on the week with a chart analysis score of plus 100, trading up near its highs at 8,534.64. Key level to watch would be 8,241.70. A move below that level would issue a red weekly trade triangle, indicating a move back to a sidelines position for the NASDAQ. Gold bouncing back a little bit after losing over 3% last week is up about 5 tenths of a percent this week. Our chart analysis score remains negative 55, indicating that overall we are in a sidelines position for gold, currently trading at 1,467.30. Key level to watch would be 1,461.70. A move below that level would issue a red daily trade triangle, indicating a move back to a short-term short position for gold. Uh, crude oil relatively unchanged on the week, down about two tenths of a percent. However, the chart analysis scores negative 55, indicating that we are back into a sidelines position for crude oil in the December contract. Currently trading at 57.30 on the day. Key level to watch would be 57.73. A move above that level would issue a green daily trade triangle, indicating a move back to a short-term long position for crude oil. We'll back it out here and we'll take a look at Bitcoin as we do. Currently down about 1.4% on the day and down 4.1% uh, on the week, marking its second straight week of declines. Currently trading at 8,416.08 with a chart analysis score negative 75, indicating that overall we are still in that sidelines position for Bitcoin. However, it's getting close to issuing a new red weekly trade triangle, which will come in at 8,363. Uh, key level to watch. So watch that through the weekend. We could possibly see that either tomorrow or Sunday, which would indicate a move back to a long-term downtrend for Bitcoin as it's failed to break out of its tight trading range that it's in right now. With that, every success. Have a great weekend. I'll be back next week to give you some market updates.